This is kind of fun. This is a completely automated elevator. C'est complètement automatique. See, you have a choice of the elevators, and this one says Prochain Départ. That means, you know, the next one that's departing. And this one is not working or it's busy. Okay, and these doors are automatic too. See? Well, I think they are. Maybe this one is. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, no. Well, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. The other one just isn't working. Okay, because sometimes, you know, you have to keep your ticket with you. If you paid with a ticket to prove that you uh, paid. And, uh, oh, it's cold. Um, and then you will need your ticket to possibly get back out through the turnstile. And they still use these paper magnetized tickets here. Instead, uh, as well as the Navigo cards, which are these, it's like the Oyster card in London, I guess. Oh, what a horrible day. I'm still so sick. I'm here all on my own. I was just so angry. I don't even really want to see this movie. But my husband was so unpleasant. And... We didn't have a fight, but we had words, and I was crying, and, you know, <clears throat> it was very obvious what was going on. This is a very cute market where they sell pets and birds and plants. This is Ile de la Cité in Paris lots of little fishies yeah they're beautiful I like goldfish I bought one for my turtle to eat and he didn't eat it, so it became a pet. You know, I took it away. And I became very attached to it. It lived for many, many years. Okay. I'm not sure which way I should walk, so... I'm going to go to this main street. See, I should have really taken the next stop. I'm a little bit early for the movie. For San Michel. But I thought, no, go to Ile de la Cité, you know. <sighs> and just walk a little bit. I don't like walking. I don't feel well. I'm not properly dressed. I just was so hurt and crying, sobbing. I had to ask my husband to leave the room. I said, please just leave the room. Close the door. And I was just sobbing. It was terrible. God. I just can't take it. You know, I must say, though, that, as I've said before, YouTube has really sharpened me and clarified me. You know, when I, when I took over his account that he didn't want anymore, that he named Slobo Motion. 
in 2008, I spent a couple years watching videos and commenting, and people thought I was a man, and it was very funny. Um, and then in early 2010, and he was criticizing me today, and I said, you know, if you're going to criticize me, make it constructive. And I said, you know, I was happy as a clam in 2009. My life was not perfect. I was busy with my work and home and I was sober and my health was okay. It wasn't great, but it was okay. Oh, I'm gonna buy some cigarettes. Fuck him. Um, and I expressed my happiness because by the beginning of early 2010, I was radiant with happiness. Absolutely radiant with happiness. And all the smashdowns began. Okay, I'm gonna buy some cigarettes.